Hey guys, I don't know if we got cut off or what, but we're doing scalloped tomatoes. Hopefully it's bright enough in here for you. So I've got my celery chopped here. I'm just working on my onion. Again, if you don't want to use onion, you can use shallots or um, leeks. I have more of a mild sweet flavor. This is a yellow onion, so it's not too bad. Just chopping these guys up. Starting to get teary eyed. And I don't want to, there we go. We got our four slices of bread, brown sugar, regular sugar, actually it's Splenda, our two cans of, um, uh, what do you call tomatoes? These are roasted um, Roma tomatoes and sweet basil. So we're going to get our butter started over here. Let's leave this here. Take this guy with us. And I want to make sure you guys can see the pan. So get these grapes out of the way. Okay. And we're going to turn our heat on. On our fire. So this is a total vegan dish. I'm not using uh, real butter. I am using vegetable oil. So there's no hydrogen, hydrogenated oils. Is that, I think that's how you say it. melting a little bit. Now this is one of my mom's dishes that I remember her making growing up. And I always loved it because it was so sweet. You had the sweet and the savory going on. Turn down my heat a little bit. Okay. All right, so my butter is almost melted, so I'm going to go ahead and add all the onion. And my celery. all those delicious leaves. Now, I have some dried basil here, and you can use fresh. I would use fresh on top, but i got to open this up. It's brand new. Give this a quick whirl here. So we're going to saute um, these veggies until they're somewhat translucent because um, we're going to put these in the oven too but it's nice to just depending on how how much you like to bite into onions and celery so we're going to probably cook them until they're translucent now 
as a kid watching my mom cook this, I mean, I probably added more sugar back then. <laughs> now I add less because, you know, basil is pretty sweet as it is. So I'm going to get my measuring spoons. Got my salt and my pepper. Start with a quarter of a teaspoon of each. So I can get it open. All right, a quarter of salt. And do a quarter of pepper. here cut our bread get our bread cut now I might need more than four slices if you got any um, ends of the bread that you don't like to use it's good for that so all that butter or vegetable oil that we're using is going to soak up all this bread bread's going to soak up all the butter and all the seasonings and stuff and make it so gooey. So there's going to be a layer of um, the onion, celery, bread mixture, and then we're going to do a layer of um, tomatoes. And then we're going to just sprinkle with brown sugar and um, regular sugar. I'm going to get some more bread. another four another four slices what I love about this dish is the savory and the sweetness all together crunchiness on top is really nice too. Okay, I cubed my bread. Now we're going to move it on over. So we got those going. Nicely. Give it a quick stir. Okay, I'm adding the bread in. The bread will get all nice and gooey. You can see that. Watch out, baby. I'm just gonna see it's soaking up all that buttery goodness in this case. Like I said, this is actually a total vegan dish. Unless you add real butter. Or depending on what kind of bread you use to now 
I'm going to turn down the heat so I don't burn my bread. So this bread should soak up all the juices, all the vegetable oil. And it smells yummy. Okay, so I'm going to turn this on low while we prepare our tomatoes. All the way on low. Okay. I don't know if you can see right here. Yeah, you can see. Hi, Robert. Hi, Doug. Hi, Johanna. Daniel, hi. So, this is the... The clear thing I got at the antique store, I wanted to use it. <laughs> and um, so I lightly sprayed it with coconut oil. This is a total vegan dish that mom used to make. Um, so I've got um, one onion, one yellow onion, two stalks of celery with the leaves chopped, and with one whole stick of butter, but it's um, not real butter. It's um, vegetable oil butter. And then I've got eight slices of bread cubed. And after we um, sauteed the vegetables, we added the bread and it soaked up all that juice, all the butter oil. And we added um, salt and pepper and a half a teaspoon of basil leaves. And so it's like sweet and salty kind of. And so now I've got two cans of stewed tomatoes. I usually like getting the whole tomatoes, but what I could find is um, it has basil and oregano in it. So I don't have to really add a whole lot of basil to this. So I'm going to open these. <clears throat> And instead of pouring the juice in the pan, I'm just going to pour it in here. And this bread will just soak it up. Give it a quick stir around. There we go. So I'm going to layer this. I put one can in. Just move these around so they're evenly layered. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that very good, but there it is. That's the first layer, and this is our um, bread and onion mixture. So now I'm going to add some brown sugar to the top of these tomatoes. I'm going to do like a tablespoon and I'm just going to spread it over the tomatoes. This is a sweet and savory dish. All right, so there's that. Now, I'm going to turn off the fire here. So half of our mixture is going to go in as the next layer. Looks so good. You can definitely smell that basil going on. All right, so I think that's about half. I think so. Okay, 
so we're going to open up our next can. And I'm just going to dump the juice in this leftover bread here. Here goes our second layer. I'm just going to move them around. There we go. And we're doing the same thing. We're going to layer in some um, brown sugar. We'll do another tablespoon. And I want to add another layer of basil. I'm just, I'm just going to use the minimum, the quarter of a teaspoon. Keeps that sweetness going on. And then I'm going to add the rest of these onions and celery and bread. Look, it fits nice, nicely. So I just want, I used one yellow onion, two stalks of celery for this, and it seems to be working out nicely. So for the very top, I think I'm gonna cube up a couple more slices of bread, and I'm gonna sprinkle some sugar on it. we get that crispy crunchiness on top. Hi Kyra. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. homemade casserole okay so now I'm just gonna take this I'm using Splenda for the top you can use real sugar I don't remember her ever using brown sugar she always used regular sugar but I wanted to try the brown sugar on the bottom and then white sugar on top just a little bit And then I'm going to put this in the oven, um, 350 for like 20, 20 minutes. And then the last 10 minutes, I'm going to take the lid off and let the top, um, get all crunchy. So let's turn this sucker on. <clears throat> this oven don't even want to turn on for me. There it goes. 350. So I couldn't find, I didn't have a lid with it, so I just had to find one that would fit it. Kind of, it works. Because I bought it used, it didn't come with a, a lid. <laughs> All right, it's going in the oven. That's it, you guys. Of course, that's not the, um, hi, Johanna. That's not the end all. It tastes fabulous when it comes out. The crunchiness of the top is so yummy. something for her, huh? Okay. So I'm still fighting.
fighting this cold, you guys. I'm getting better, though. I've just been sneezing a lot. It's all up in my sinuses. Oh, yeah, I see you. Well, I, don't, I mean, I don't see you see you, but I see you there. <laughs> oh, you remember this dish, Johanna? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's, you know, that's one mom made a lot. She made a lot of this tomato, scalloped tomatoes. And I loved it. It was so good. I paid attention on how she made it. It was really simple, really. <clears throat> she, uh, like I said, it was so, it was sweet. I think that's what drawn me to it because it was so sweet. And you really got to love onions and tomatoes. <clears throat> See, I poured this brown sugar in here, but I wasn't going to use all of it. So, just wanted to make sure I had enough. I was trying to find just the regular whole tomatoes with no seasonings added, but I didn't have any luck. So I just used these and it, it'll work. And I'm just doing some cleanup work now. Cleaned up a little bit. Oh, and I gotta watch the clock too. It's 3:39, so about four-ish maybe. Yeah, about four. I'll take the lid off, and then we'll leave the lid off for about 10 minutes, and the top should be nice and crunchy. A hundred years ago. <laughs> did I really make it on Wilkie Way? I probably did. Yeah, it is a long time ago. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, this is kind of cool. We could be social and not be together because I'm sick. Poor little Liam had RSV and now I got RSV. A respiratory virus, whatever it is. It just feels like a head cold. You know, coughing up stuff and it's all in my sinuses and stuff. So we can visit still and not, you know, don't have to breathe my air. <laughs> Brian, he won't even come around me. He wears a mask all around. He'll, he's been sleeping in the living room and everything, and he hasn't gotten sick. Let me get up closer, Johanna. I can't see. Thank you, and thank you for your prayers. Yeah, I'm sweating right now. But, you know, I was in bed all day yesterday, and I, I don't like to stay in bed all the time. I like to get up and move around. Went and... Um, Check the mail. I walked out in the sunshine and got some fresh air for a little bit. So that was nice. Thank you, Johanna. Gosh, Wil Wilkie Way, that was, yeah. Janessa was, what, four years old? Three, four, something like that. I don't even think I had kids yet. I was working on it. <laughs> yeah, I think, um, yeah, me and Billy got together around that time. <clears throat> Trying to stay up on my fluids. 
Boy, time passes by fast, doesn't it? So here it's nice and sunny. Is it sunny where you guys are at? I'm sure it is. Corning isn't too far away. Yeah, it's gone. Um, a lot of good memories though. We had a lot of fun. Yes, beautiful day. I haven't been out in it though. I've had my windows open. Um, I might take a walk. I don't know. The sun goes down so quickly now. But yeah, we had a lot of fun. I mean... We're still having fun. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm glad we quit smoking. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> It's hard to breathe as it is. So, but yeah, this dish, I haven't had it in a long time. Yes, we have a different kind of fun now. <laughs> Cooking and taking care of grandbabies and taking them to all the fun stuff. I, let's see, so, Johanna, you're on, and then somebody else is on. It doesn't show me who. But, yeah. And, oh, it's um, Zachary's birthday. Oh, <laughs> I know, right? I, I kept putting it off. Um, I don't know why, I guess maybe because I wasn't in the mood for it or something, but now that I'm sick, I'm like wanting all those onions and stuff, but I have the casserole dish too that I wanted to try out, but it's Zachary, um, Zachary's birthday is a Sunday. I know your brother Johnny's birthday is a Sunday too on the 12th. So all that cake I made, I'm like bringing it to him tonight or tomorrow. So I think he said he had plans on Sunday with his girlfriend. So I'm just going to bring him the cake. There's just too much. <laughs> I'm glad it was somebody's birthday and I could pass it on down to somebody. But then I'm going to make another cake. Like I said, I have so many going through my mind. I want to do a peppermint. Oh, Christy, it's her birthday on that day too? Oh my goodness. See, I made a cake for many reasons. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, you know, I haven't been eating it. I ate it uh, once the next day. I had a piece, but Stefan loves it, and um, Brian loves it too. But there's like half of it left of the big one. So I'm just going to take that to Zach. Uh, we're going to go out to dinner probably tomorrow night. He called me yesterday and was wanting to go last night, but I told him I was just too sick and I couldn't make it. So that I would bring it tomorrow night. <clears throat> yep. You know, those boys can eat. <laughs> so um, I, I was going to do a peppermint cake, uh, a white chocolate peppermint. And then um, I plan to do a banana cream. And I want to do a spice cake. Yeah. <laughs> um, thank God he's got a job and he's moving around and he's, you know, can burn it off, I guess. More so than me. But, um, yeah. And for Stefan, his birthday's coming up in January. I'm thinking about doing a chocolate fudge cake for him because he loves chocolate. Yeah, so, so much to do, so many cakes to bake, um, 
But see, I try to do a variety of dishes, you know, for those that eat meat and for those that don't. So, vegan, vegetarian. I haven't made any steak yet. <laughs> I'm not a big steak person, but I know Brian is, so I try to incorporate dishes that everybody likes. <clears throat> So I've got some um, tuna. I don't know. Do you eat tuna? You're a straight vegetarian, right, Johanna? Well, I was going to make, um, I like tuna once in a while, and I, I make it the albacore with apples in it okay yeah I cut like an apple dice it up and I put half mayo and half um, I use the olive oil mayo and half um, sour cream and I put dill in there and sometimes I'll put onions and pickles it just depends on whether I have it <laughs> or in the mood for it or whatever but yeah I got this apple right here apple shiny red apple but I was thinking about doing one on that but you know it's a short it'd be a really short video because um, it doesn't take much to make tuna so have you ever tried apple with your tuna oh okay yeah I Mom always bought, um, you know, just the regular tuna, but like with the albacore, it just tastes really good. I don't know. Something about it. This crunchiness and the sweetness. I'm going to put my basil away. Don't need no more of that. Do some cleanup work while I... Waiting for our stuff to be done. I've got one little potato out here and I'm not using it for anything. So I don't know what that's out here for. Lettuce, onion, and pickles on toast. Oh yes, toasted bread. Yeah, and I heard that the toasted bread, it, it cuts the calories in like half. If you toast your bread, it just burns away the calories. Plus adds that crunch to it, too. And I always like sweet pickle because it adds that sweetness to it. But I've used dill also. Or I'll just put dill in there without the pickle it's all good yeah well the um let me show you i just got some dried dill or you can use fresh dill if i had fresh dill i would use it but um <clears throat> let me look here here we go Organic. I have some organic dill weed. Yeah, it is so good. I love it in my tuna. I think instead of like pickles, you could add dill pickle. I just add the dill seasoning. But yeah, it's really good. And with the with the apple. Oh, okay, about the toast. Yeah, if you toast your bread, um, I don't know about less sodium, but I know that it does burn half the calories. So it pays off to toast your bread. And sometimes I just get in a hurry and just take the bread and eat it because <laughs> I'm so hungry. 
But yeah, toasting the bread. And I heard too about organic butter is like really, really good for you because the amounts of the fats are like equivalent to um, mother's milk, breast milk. Oh yes, dill does have less sodium to pickles. I get it now. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You still get that dill flavor and you don't have to worry about the sodium. Yeah. So I'm always trying to find the organic um, butter. Um, and they usually have it at Sa or Costco, but I don't get there too often. I know, it's terrible. Well, you know, I could bring you online. <laughs> I mean, there is a way to do it, I think. I did it with Brian that one time, so. It's up to you. But yeah, so I hear it in here making a bunch of noise. I'm going to wipe down my stove real quick so this food don't get stuck on here. Well, I know at least with texting you could just probably talk into the microphone. I don't know if you could do that on there. Maybe you could. in the last couple days except for to the mailbox. That's about it. <laughs> right? It keeps it interesting. Yeah. Um, that's why I have my... Well, I don't have the regular toaster in here anymore. It was taking up so much counter space but this toaster in here works fine um it's just you know remembering to toast my bread a curtain rod One of those curtain rods you buy at the store, the ones that screw in the wall, curtain rod. <laughs> mm. Smells good. I'm so hungry today. I think this cold weather just makes me hungry. I'm going to munch on these grapes. Uh-oh. If anything frustrates you that much, you better step away from it for a minute. Curtain rods can be very frustrating. Hmm. I got three more minutes left before I check it.
What I hate when I'm trying to nail in something when there's already like a hole in this spot in the wall and it's just sliding in and out. It's like you need one of those anchor thingies. Okay, let's check on our stuff. It's, I don't know if it's, I don't see it like boiling or anything. So we'll let, give it a little more time. I'll probably put a little bit of that sweet basil on top too. Okay. What happened to the one in the living room? Was it broken or or you didn't have one in the living room? Oh, I see. I know this makes a big difference if you buy the cheapy ones versus those big solid round ones. Mm. I want to say Big Lots might have them. I don't know. I get my, well, I used to get mine at um, Home Depot. Well, we have blinds up now. In the bedroom, I just have a towel over, or not a towel, but a blanket <laughs> over our curtains because it's so bright in there. Mm. Yeah, it's nice to upgrade. The only curtains we have, oh yeah, um, the only curtains we have are in the bedrooms and here in the living room and it's all blinds and we got the vertical blinds here and then the miniature blinds there. Um, uh oh. You know, there would be a lot of light in here if um, I opened up all the blinds. And then um, at night, Brian closes all the blinds. He's like, I don't want nobody to see in here. And I think I'm still in Rackerby mode. <laughs> Good. Because <laughs> so up in Rackerby, I didn't care because nobody was around. And I knew that. Like, I could just leave the window curtains open and the blinds open and... I can look out and didn't think to care if anybody was looking in. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they have those. Uh, people have um, blinds with remotes. I don't have one. But people do. I'm sure they pay a lot for those too. I'm guessing. Hmm. Let me get my um my hand thingies. Hi, Kyra. 
You want a grape? She's begging for food, so I'm giving her um, a grape. See if she'll eat it. Nope, she spit it out. <laughs> we don't like a grape after all, huh? Well, you should have picked it up again. She's trying to chew it. <laughs> no, she's playing with it. She hasn't really decided whether she likes it or not. Okay, I'm going to take off the lid now. I see it boiling I'm on the top here. Oh, a lot of the bread stuck to it. Look at that. So I'm just going to get a spoon or a knife here. Take it off and put it back on the casserole. Definitely don't want it stuck on the lid. So I'll probably do about 10 more minutes. Very hot. So about 10 more minutes, it'll be done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very quick. It's just longer waiting for it. it. Takes about 30 minutes. 20 minutes for it to do its bubbling and another 10 minutes just for the top to get, you know, brown, crunchy. You want another grape, Kyra? There you go, baby. <laughs> about bit my finger off. Mmm. Are you guys all ready for Christmas? I still have more wrapping to do. I always put it off. I look at the gifts as I walk by. I'm like, oh, I need to wrap you. And I just keep walking. <laughs> I don't know. Good girl. You are ready? Mm. You do the same thing too. Just kind of like, oh, don't want to deal with it right now. <laughs> she's liking these grapes now. Now she's begging for more. I think once she realizes that there's something in the middle of it, huh, something juicy in the middle, then she likes it. Whoops. Oh, yeah, me too. I haven't done it. Maybe tonight I will. At least one. <laughs> mm hmm So it's 4.06, I'll give it about four more minutes and see how it looks. I would show you the gifts, but, you know, my sons would, would see it. That won't be no fun for them. <laughs> I 
Everybody's outside right now. You want more, baby? I'm sorry. There you go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't be very fun for them. Brian accidentally, I don't know how accident it was, I'm telling on him. I had bought him a gift through Amazon and the box came and he opened it. And he goes, oh, well, I thought it was for me. I said, well, it is for you. It's your Christmas gift. And it was a, um, a water pick toothbrush. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so now it's like, okay. I told him I would just keep that one, and then I ordered another one. And hopefully he doesn't see this video. <laughs> he already knows what he's got anyway. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm going to get some plates out. Hi, Lisa. Making my scalloped tomatoes. It's in the oven right now. Um, I'm going to check on it here in a few minutes. Let's see if I can. Oh, I need to get a plate. Let's get a plate or a bowl. I don't know. Um, I need a smaller, I like to use a smaller white plate. This is like a china one, we don't need that one. We'll use this one right here. She's just waiting for hers. Kyra is. Okay, I'm going to check this again. So, what we have here is scalloped tomatoes with um, bread. So, I cut up. I'm just going to see if my top layer is um, crunchy or not. Just filling it, and it's a little bit crunchy. Mmm. And it's got that sweetness on it. Can I put a little bit of sugar on top? And it's got a layer of um, onion, celery, sweet basil, all that sauteed together, the, the bread and the onions and the celery, and then we got a layer of... Um, tomatoes <laughs> how to think about that I'm like roasted tomatoes but they're um, you know they're canned tomatoes anyway um, and then another layer of the bread and the onions and the celery and another layer of the um, tomatoes and then some bread on top with some sugar and then I'm gonna put some more basil on top all vegan even the butter is vegan. Um, it's a vegetable butter. So we're almost done. We are almost done. I'm going to put this in the sink. You are following me everywhere, baby girl. The 
just to make sure it's clean. Huh. No baby. Yes, Brian's on the naughty list. He's naughty but nice. Oh, I think, oh, it smells so good. Such a comfort food. And the best part is I got to use my um, casserole dish that I got recently. Been wanting to find an excuse to use it. Okay, so I'm going to turn the oven off. It's been in there uh, for 30 minutes. 20 um, without the lid off and then 10 with the lid off. So I'm going to take it out. It's nice and bubbly. Oh my goodness. Give you guys a good look here. Watch out puppies. Now, you see that you guys? See how it's bubbling still? And the top, watch out puppy. And the top is all crispy, toasty. I'll take this one. Now I'm just going to add another layer of sweet basil on top. Just to give it more extra sweetness. There we go. Mmm. And my hands smell like basil. Smells good. Okay, I'm going to plate this up and take a bite. I love bread too. Oh my gosh. But I haven't eaten much today, so I can get away with it, I guess you could say. See which one of these guys am I going to use? Maybe this wooden spoon. But yeah, I try to tell myself I'm only going to eat once a day. But if I get up really early, I end up having to eat early because I, I start getting the shakes and stuff if I don't. So, but if I stay in bed late and then I get up and I just have. Um, some tea or something and then um, there we go and then I make dinner or whatever or a late lunch if I could just eat once a day I need to do that I don't know try to get a control over my weight all right you gotta find me a fork. <clears throat> Here we go. I probably haven't had this in a hundred years, Johanna. <laughs> I probably haven't had this since way back when. <laughs> and I think I just used all regular sugar back in the day. Oh my god, it's hot. Mmm. But it's so good when it's hot. You've got the mushy bread, and then you got the crunchy bread. What a combo. And this dog is begging for some, and she doesn't know what she's begging for. Do you? I'm just going to put one little bite in her bowl. There you go. Just to see if she'll eat it. But there you go, guys. Scalloped tomatoes. Just like my mama used to make. And it's so good. Johanna, you're going to have to make some of this. Mmm. 
And that brown sugar, good hit. Love it. Mm-hmm. Especially right now, the weather being cold, it's just so good. And the vegetables are nice and crunchy a little bit. Not too much. But I love crunchy stuff, so. You got the sweet and you got the savory. Definitely yummy. Mmm. Now I'm going to see if my kiddo will eat it. It's the sugar and the bread that they love. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you liked it, baby girl. Mm. She loved it. She's begging for more. Oh, my goodness. Are you just hungry? Dogs eat uh, almost anything you give them. So. <clears throat> All right, you guys, that's it. I'm not doing no dessert tonight. We got leftover cake. So, Johanna, Lisa, until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. I'll be getting on again soon. Bye, you guys. Take care of yourself and each other. All right, bye.